Hey guys, Professor Bill Comic Book University, Black Widow issue number two. All right, we're going to get right into this. This was a pretty good comic book, man. Uh, did it live up to the previous issue? I'm not going to say it did because last week just kind of came out of nowhere. This one starts off kind of eh, all right? But by the time that first half of the comic book leaves, all of a sudden an all-star cast of villains comes out. And you just know this is going to be crazy. All right, let's get started on this, all right? Jen and Sylvia Soska are the writers. Flaviano is the artist. Color artist, Veronica Gandini. Uh, VCs Joe Caramanga on letters. And the cover art, Clayton Crane. All right, so we start off with just some, for now, he's just some no-name chump as far as I'm concerned with pink lady hair, but he's a huge guy, and he's like basically a very violent pimp. Um, what do you call it? He has a name, but... Who cares? <laughs> he, short work was made of this knucklehead. Uh, later on, he, she very quickly finds out about uh, No Restraints Play, NRP. This is basically uh, a website that allows uh, exclusive members on the dark web only, invitation only, you have to have a special key card to access this, to watch or even participate in acts. Let's just say acts. They could be really wicked sex acts. They could be violent acts. They could be whatever you want. All right. We've seen this kind of horror movie before. Let's remember who's writing this comic book. So at one point she decides to go after these people. Now there's, I'm not going to say they're touching scenes. I didn't really see a necessarily touching scene. I saw some sad scenes that required something that had the appearance of touching just to freaking move on, man. It's like this little girl with her hands cut off and it looks like she was raped multiple times. This is not something you see in comics very often. This is definitely not something you see in Marvel comics very often, unless it's got the Max title next to it. But welcome to the Twisted Sisters. <laughs> so, Twisted Twins, excuse me. So, um, basically, Black Widow's going after these people. Now, in her... Um, in her attempts to find the people who are responsible, she comes across, and it looks like it's a team up of, of uh, what's his name, Baron Zemo, Sabretooth, that's right, Sabretooth. We haven't seen Victor Creed since the end of the Weapon X comic book where he lost the incursion. It looked like he went completely bestial. Here, he's back to his old thing that I'd said that I'd really like to see again, where he's in not quite a suit in this case, but He's dressed up a little bit, and he's got a girl in each arm. Wow. Jeez, I just realized my voice is going bad. I've been reviewing a lot of comic books. So anyway, uh, we also see Taskmaster there. Uh, and later on, well, I, I normally wouldn't give this away, but I do like to tell you or show you what the next cover is going to look like. And it is um, Madame Mask. Yeah. This is promising to be a really good story. Look, again, the first half of this comic book, it was, it's like there were a couple of cool moments, cool scenes, a, a cool thing happens on a panel. Not even the whole panel is cool, just something cool happens. Um, occasionally a little mistake here and there. There was one part where I think with was said twice, I don't remember. But there's one uh, narrator's box where a wor there's a double word in there, and it's like, wow, it kind of, it stops the comic book for me. I gotta almost take a breath and gather myself, but it's because I'm an English teacher. What do you want? So, um, yeah, the the comic book kind of it's it's good. It's eh, it's good. It's dragging, you know. But it's only for the first half. After that, the adrenaline starts to kick in. So realistically, this feels to me like a, a really good song. All right, think about like I'm not gonna quite compare it to there, but think about like Stairway to Heaven. When this song came out, one of the reasons why it was so amazing is because it did everything that we were told not to do when you're creating music. It started off slow, and then it quickly started to get and, and low, and it got louder and faster until you got to the very end where it took it back down again after it was at a raging tempo. That's kind of what I'm going to compare this comic book to. The exact same methodology that was used for creating great songs like Stairway to Heaven that's what was used to make this comic book. That's, I, I, I've never actually made a, a, a full comic book before, just stuff when I was a kid, you know? But I'm gonna say that's probably a hard thing to do. It seemed pretty effortless here. 
I enjoy this comic book. I enjoy this title. I'm really looking forward to the next week. Um, I don't know if the same method's going to be used. I doubt it. I'd be okay if it did, but I doubt it. I feel like every comic book is generally going to feel different because, again, even the... the I, I mentioned this in my This Week in Comics book. This comic doesn't look like a Black Widow comic. I mean, unless you really pay attention to the dressing, but for the most part, it's like, what, what, what kind of comic book is this, you know? It almost looks like an eerie comics comic, doesn't it? Anyway... Uh, I love the way that this is being presented. I do hope that each comic book has at least a slightly different feel. We'll see when we get there. March 27th is the next one. All right, guys, Professor Bill Comic Book University. Class dismissed.